Hi, I'm Eric Barker. I'm the author of Barking Up the Wrong Tree. <coughs> Nash and Stevenson were uh, two writers, uh, two educators at Harvard Business School who looked at when people are successful, what metrics do they use to try and figure out whether they're getting ahead, whether they're, they're, they're really achieving life success. And they found that two mistakes that people often make are they try a collapsing strategy or they try a sequencing strategy. Neither of these work very well. Collapsing strategy is when you take all of the ideas of success and you collapse it into one metric. So you might say, make as much money as possible. If I make as much money as possible, then I'm going to be successful. I'm going to ignore my health. I'm going to ignore my relationships. I'm going to ignore my happiness. And I'm just going to make as much money as possible. Obviously, you might do pretty well in the money area, but you're not going to have life success because one metric isn't enough. Other people try a sequencing strategy. That's where they break their life up and they say, first, I'm going to work really hard. And I'm, going to, I'm going to make a lot of money and then I'm going to focus on my relationships and, and then I'm going to be happy. And that doesn't work so well either because you're going to be miserable when you're trying to achieve. And then when you do focus on your relationships, you've been neglecting them for so long. And so sequencing didn't work either. So what Nash and Stevenson realized was you actually need to be thinking about four different metrics. And those four were happiness, achievement, significance, and legacy. Happiness is very simple. Are you enjoying what you're doing? Achievement is, are you getting ahead at your goals? Significance is, is what you're doing contributing to the people around you, who you love, who love you? And then legacy is, are you making the world a better place? Are you contributing to the greater good and to the future? Now, four is a little, can be a little tricky to juggle, but if you're thinking about them as you're moving forward, this can actually be the solution to not only achieving a well-rounded vision of success, but it can also solve the work-life balance program. Because when you realize that one bucket isn't getting enough attention, you can shift a little bit more there, you can shift a little bit more towards significance, happiness, back to achievement. And if you just kind of keep your eye week to week on those four, that they're always just increasing a little bit, this seems to be one of the secrets towards having a well-rounded, successful, balanced life.